Hey guys, it's time to do a speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus versus the iPhone 10. Samsung versus Apple, the biggest rivalry in history, bigger than anything else, and I mean anything. The perfect Galaxy is finally here and it is the most powerful Android phone in the world as you can see. Insane benchmark score it is. My Galaxy S9 Plus is a beast. I've heard some funny news regarding the benchmarks on some websites but as you can see the S9 is definitely on a top-notch game. So before I get into the speed test, I want to announce that I am doing the giveaway for the Galaxy S9. This is the biggest giveaway on the channel up to date. And uh, to enter this giveaway, all you have to do is to subscribe to this YouTube channel, follow me on Instagram, that's where I'm most active, and follow me on Twitter, that's where I'll be announcing the winner, and lastly, leave a comment below. I'll be picking a random comment, and I'll be announcing the winner on 4th April. So with that being said, let's get down to the business, which is the speed test. All right, so Starting off with booting up both phones at the same time, three, two, one, go. Oh my God, it's the first ever Exynos boot up, 9810 processor. And I'm super, super excited to see how it will stack up against the best uh, Apple A11, which is still the most powerful chip for the phones. And as you can see, just like that, Galaxy S9 Plus wins the first round when it comes to booting up. It literally takes like three seconds after it shows the Samsung logo. Uh, but yeah, really, really fast speed when it comes to booting up. Okay, so we just have the Wi-Fi connection. And as you can see, uh, everything is closed up in the background. Nothing is open, so it's a fresh start. We're going to start off with the basic stuff. So we have the phone dialer in three, two, one, go. And as you can see, a very similar result on both phones. Maybe the iPhone was a tiny bit slow with an animation, but not much of a difference. Again, you guys are the judge of this speed test, so I'm just gonna get right into the settings real quick. So three, two, one, boom. And that was about the same on both phones. That was the basic stuff. Moving on to the games, we have Subway Surfer on both phones. And let's see, okay, Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. Nope, started the loading first, but okay. That was a draw. As you can see, both phones are insanely beautiful. Of course, the iPhone has the notch, but they look absolutely incredible. So let's launch another game, and this one is going to be a big one. So we have Asphalt 8 game, and let's see, can the Galaxy beat the iPhone in terms of game loading times? Yes, it does. Oh my God. So this is a really rare thing because, you know, not many Android phones can beat the iPhone when it comes to game loading times. So... Wow, so this is the power of the Exynos 9810 processor. It was faster in loading the Asphalt 8 game. So first game was a draw, second game was a win for the S9 Plus. Moving on, we're gonna launch Pinout. And this time it's faster on the iPhone 10, uh, as you can see. As S9 Plus was really close there, but the iPhone 10 managed to be quicker at the end. We can just quickly start playing. Obviously, we will be testing out the RAM management. Let's check out Snapchat. And I think slightly faster on the S9 Plus. Spotify. And faster on the S9 Plus. Let's check out Smash Hit. Another game. And faster on the iPhone 10. Next up, we got Cora. And that's faster on the Galaxy S9 Plus, uh, loading up the latest feed. SoundCloud. And quicker on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. The iPhone did a sign in for some reason. But yeah, a little bit quicker on the S9 Plus. Twitter. Faster on the S9 Plus. Alto game. And let's see. This is, I think, the fifth game that we're loading. So uh, iPhone 10 slightly faster there as well. I have to say, games-wise, the iPhone did uh, prove that it is still faster with the optimization and everything, whatever you want to call it. But uh, I've definitely, the S9 Plus has performed really good so far in this test. And uh, let's check out Instagram. And as you can see, we got the Galaxy S9 Plus done with the latest feed and also started to play the video first as well. Uh, let's quickly hit the 
uh, my profile. Let's check my profile. So let's see who will load that up quicker. Here we go. And that is faster on the iPhone. So a bit of a difference there, obviously a little bit different optimization. But yeah, scrolling looks smooth on both phones. No problem whatsoever. Let's go back. And lastly, we'll be launching the cameras on both phones at the same time. Here we go. And that is uh, almost the same. Now time for a browsing test. So we have first website, which is the WWE.com. Let's go and see who is going to be faster with the Wi-Fi. Okay, so the S9 Plus uh, came first, but the iPhone finished up first. So there you have it. Uh, as far as the scrolling goes, everything looks smooth on both phones. Same thing in zooming for zooming in and out as you can see roman looking strong as always next up we got wikipedia.org and that is i think slightly faster on the s9 plus again that was lightning quick on both phones uh, so you can see pretty damn near awesome performance on both phones like it's really hard to tell the difference like the speed is just so insane but it's time to test out the ram management so we did the test of the browsing just to you know keep the applications open in the background. We opened a lot of applications for this test because I mean, this is the biggest speed test ever. So I'm gonna go to the phone dialer here. Um, was that a refresh? I think that that counts as a refresh because it showed, showed me that white thing. S9 Plus still keeping the stuff in the memory. Let's go back, let's go back and launch the settings. Okay, it, that was again a blank thing. Then the setting stuff came up. That could be a refresh, but iOS does that with the settings app. Uh, let's see what's the status with the third party application. So uh, launching the Subway Surfer on both phones and okay, both phones are keeping that in the background. Look at that awesomeness. Asphalt 8 and Oh my God, the iPhone actually refreshed the Asphalt 8 game. That is shocking. You know, normally my iPhone performs really good, but I don't know, maybe it's the S9 Plus, it's getting nervous, I don't know. But yeah, we are going back to the pinout. And oh my God, the iPhone is just refreshing application for some reason. The Galaxy is keeping, their, uh, keeping everything there, no problem. Moving on, moving on. We are back in this Snapchat. Okay, Snapchat is still there on both phones. Spotify, still there. Okay, let's see, let's see. We got the Smash Hit game, and that's also there. So far, the Beast has kept everything in the memory thanks to 6 gigabyte of RAM. Yes, the Galaxy S9 Plus actually comes with 6 gigabyte of RAM, so we're gonna go down to Cora app. Still there. Snapchat. No refresh there. Moving on to SoundCloud. And SoundCloud got refreshed on the iPhone. Maybe it again tried to sign in my account. So I guess we're not going to count that. But yeah, we're back to Twitter. And okay, Twitter, I mean, at this point, iPhone is just... I don't know what's happening with the 10. I've opened so many apps. Maybe that's why, because I never tested these many apps. You can see some apps are still there. We got Instagram loaded up nicely. And we're back to the final game, which was the auto game. Let's see. Look at that. iPhone is just refreshing the stuff. Gotta say, I'm super impressed by the performance of the S9 Plus when it comes to the RAM management. So six gigabyte of RAM, you don't have to worry about the RAM management. So uh, we're finally back in the browser. Safari, okay, that's still there. Internet browser still there. So perfect multitasking on the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. So yeah, guys, that was the speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus, the most powerful Samsung phone out on this planet right now against the iPhone 10, the most powerful phone from Apple. I have to say I'm super impressed by the performance of this phone. It is blazingly fast and uh, it kept all the applications in the memory. Like it is ridiculous. The RAM management is just insane. Oh my God. And the and with the iPhone 10, the RAM management was a total failure, but uh, it was faster in terms of uh, loading some of the games. Uh, but yeah, hopefully we'll see some optimization. Uh, I think the iPhone has three gigabyte of RAM and that might be the reason why it started to refresh the apps. 
but yeah the galaxy s9 plus showed that it is the boss when it comes to ram mesh bin so let me know what you think about this video and again the giveaway for the samsung galaxy s9 is live so i want you guys to enter and uh, yeah best of luck and peace out